all metals, galaxy seafood, they get to be used for boating. What is the history behind these boating phones? Yes, up, MVD here. So today I'm going to talk about the history behind the folding phones, which the era started in 2018 when a company named Royal from China it is the first folding phone, the Royal Fraxpair One, which was not that good. It is the story of bad performance, bad cameras, and bad screen. And then some time later on, Royal announced that they were going to release the Fraxpair Two, and then promised that they were going to give us the better performance, better screen, and better cameras, including with the better battery. So they did uh, release the Black Spell 2, which it was, it had some of the like better performance. It was it is run by a Snapdragon 865 chip, which is quite amazing. Yeah, and it joined the three camera set at the back with the 64 megapixels as the main camera, and uh, 18 megapixel and 8 megapixel chip as the shooters and this 32 megapixels as the front camera which is quite nice and it had a better screen and then the Surface Duo 1 came out by Microsoft which was nice when you look at when you look at it from the outside and then the moment you just open it it becomes another story. It is the story of bad performance, bad screen, and bad cameras. So, Microsoft again have promised to upgrade everything. What was wrong with the Surface Duo when they were to use the Surface Duo 2? Came out Surface Duo 2 uh, with a more uh, upgraded chip, the performance slightly good now and the camera is okay and the screen amazing but this performance which they made both royal and in microsoft they are those kind of performance which only make the current phone better than the previous one uh, to compare it if royal one and royal two were compared flux per one and flux per two flux per two will win microsoft surface duo one and surface duo two Surface Duo 2 will win over Surface Duo 1. But if you put them in a race against these other 14 phones, they all become, they all go down below, and then these other phones go up. A good example of that kind of improvement is <coughs> uh, Vinsco. If you compare Vinsco 13 with Vinsco 9, Vinsco 13 wins over Vinsco 9. While Vinsco 13 is not even better than the iPhone 5. And if you do like the video, a sub to the channel will be royalty. Give a sub to the channel so that you can bring this channel up to the top, guys. You can do it. Yeah, and Huawei came up with the Huawei Mate X, which was nice and good, and it was all right. I would have, I truly loved the phone, personally. I truly loved the phone. I wanted to buy the phone now. The budget didn't allow because it is 17,750 kwacha here in Zambia, which is a lot of money. Yeah, but I would have bought it. It, was, it is a very good phone. And then later on, Huawei announced that they were releasing the Huawei Mate X2, which was on fire. It had more better performance than the, than the first one, uh, more better cameras than the first one, more better uh, screen than the first one, which was on fire. It was nice. But the only bad things with the Huawei phones is that all because of the Huawei ban, which is still going around, you can't use Google services and if you can't use Google services it becomes very hard for people like me who usually use Google each and every time who depend on Google so it becomes very hard to use the Huawei phones and I personally hope that owner do take over from Huawei because they have now become a own company so I do personally hope that owner takes over from Huawei and I'm yet to see Forging phone from owner, even though it is not yet announced, but I'm yet to see it. I'll be very happy when it comes out. Samsung later came up with the C Fold, which was on fire. Looking at all the folding phones which existed at that time, the Z Fold one managed to beat them all and then came on top. 
it was but only the one problem with it was, was that people were complaining about the small screen which it had from the front screen which people uh, which people were complaining about a lot but Samsung did improve it when they released a Z42 which was all right and then it became one of the best folding phones again uh, it had more better performance than the Z Fold 1 um, good quality cameras than the Z Fold 1 and the screen which people were complaining about the small screen it became big and now you could do a lot of things from the front screen without unfolding it and then Samsung still thought that they were lagging somehow and then they released the Z Fold 3 which is on fire right now it has more better performance than the Z Fold 2 and Move 1 more better cameras more and the more bright screen and better screen than all the z Folds, which is quite amazing now the only problem is that the battery of, of the z Fold it is not matching up to the performance of the phone so the battery drains up fast but i think it's a win-win situation looking at that um, a lot of things can be done on the front screen which means you don't need to open to unfold it each and every time when it is unnecessary when you don't unfold it a lot of times, it ends up saving a lot of battery because when you open it and then that kind, uh, that kind of screen, it ends up eating a lot of battery. But if there are things which you can manage to do from the front screen without unfolding it, it, is, it saves up a lot of battery. So it's a win-win situation. You only unfold it when you, you need to unfold it and you close it when you need to close it, which is quite amazing from Samsung. Like looking at both sides, it's a win-win situation. In, situation in, the, in the case that they didn't raise up the price too much, from the Z4 and Z4 2 to Z4 3, the difference of price tag is not that too much that uh, it can shiver you when you want to buy it. And with that being said, I'm yet to see the Oppo N, which will come out very soon, and have left a uh, link on the descri des description below to see what Oppo needs to do so that their phone can be can be great. You can check it out from the leaks of the week and. I'm um, to see the TLC, which is right now a prototype, the triple 14 phone, but I'm yet to see it when the actual phone comes out. I'll be very glad to see the TLC for the triple. So, in the comments below, you can tell me is this the end of it all? Or we are going to get more than what TLC is offering us, which is the triple 14 phone. We are going to get more than triple, which will be four, five, 14, 14 screens or is the triple last so thanks for watching catch you another one what's up